Song of Solomon 2 3 says, His fruit is sweet to my taste. I'm gonna repeat again the verse His fruit is sweet to my taste. Every time I read this verse, I just get like a new highlight from the Lord. This morning I was thinking um, the fact that he could have, she could have said, His fruit is sweet. Because when you experience something, right? Like if you eat it, you know it's sweet. Or if you smell it. But since she's talking about fruit and the fact she's affirming it's sweet to her taste reminds me to the fact that when we experience him, we train our senses. We experience the sweetness of him. That sweetness gets imparted to us and we train our senses. You know, in other words, once you try something sweet, you develop a taste and you don't want anything else that it's not sweet. You can distinguish when something is bitter, when something is sour, and you lean towards that which is pleasant. Which in this comparison would be the sweetness, right? So it develops the senses. The more we know him, the more we experience him, it develops, it matures our senses. Um, I think it's a verse as well in Hebrews that says that those that are mature, they have their senses developed, discerned. So, just a highlight. His fruit is sweet to my taste. So, make sure you experience his sweetness so you can train your senses and you can choose that which is sweet and the more you eat of him who is sweetness himself the sweeter we become because we partake from him we become like him out of proximity and experiential relationship not um, knowledge right by union amen so let his sweetness, the sweetness of his fruit, be part of who you are in 2023. God bless you.